Welcome to the island. How was your trip? Oh, I'm glad it went so smoothly. Um, sometimes traveling through the virtual wide web could you know, just be a little bit bumpy. Is this your first visit here? Oh, I'm so glad because you're gonna see such cool things. There are some gorgeous beaches in the north. There are mountains. And the islanders you'll find are pretty happy people. The baby islanders are just short, bald versions of the adults, as you see. Um, are you here for vacation or something else? Oh, you're here for research? Oh, great, because the islands, islanders, oh, they love to participate in research and they do it without complaint. You can get them to do almost anything, like pet a crocodile for 15 minutes or take some sort of test and, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. hold on, don't, don't move, don't move. I know you're getting anxious to do your study, but um, I have some tips for you. Can I give you tips? No? Well, um, I'm a mom and mom gives advice, moms give advice even when you don't want it. So here we go. Lesson number one. Teamwork isn't easy, but it's really essential. And this to me is a no-brainer. Like time and time again, I hear researchers saying, man, that was really hard to work with people. And, but I get it. Working with people can be a nightmare. That's why there's a saying, if you want to get something done right, you do it yourself. Teammates might not fulfill their role. They might not communicate. But that doesn't mean you should fly solo. Every time you work on a new team, you need to learn how to work best with people. And Working, doing, going through this process is totally normal and it's going to be difficult. But learn to get through those tough times by having clear communication, defining roles, having great leadership, kind of like be like the honeybees. Um, they know how to communicate by doing a little dance. That's how they communicate. They have their roles. They have an agenda. They know what they're supposed to do. They have great leadership. So take into account everybody's perspective and different backgrounds and you're going to have a better product because of it. So lesson number two. Ask questions. The whole process of research is driven by asking questions. How did something happen? How do these two things relate? Questions can, be, can come about by curiosity or just by trying to solve a problem. Questions, ask questions when you need to um, collect some data. What variables should be collected? How should you collect those measurements? Especially if a measurement is something like an abstract concept like quality of life. And then once you have your data, you might have subsequent questions that arise from your study. Or you may ask questions on how should I present my results so it's meaningful to someone else. So ask questions before, during, and after a study, but also ask questions of other people's research. What was their research question? Did they answer their research question? What's the population of interest? Is the sample representative of the population of interest? So the punchline is develop a habit of curiosity. And the last lesson I want to talk about today is the goal of research is to have good, cheap, and fast research. Have you heard of Panera's you pick two menu option? Well, research has the same a la carte. You want all three, but in reality, you can only have two. You can have good and cheap, but it won't be fast. And you know, time, it takes time to do a good study at a relatively low cost. Kind of like standing in line at a state fair, it takes time for good and cheap food. Or you want good and fast, but it won't be cheap. Well, for this, think VIP. It's definitely not gonna be cheap, but it'll be good and fast. You have to pay people to do things in a timely manner. But you also have to balance between how fast something gets done and the quality. And lastly, you can have cheap and fast research, but it won't be good. <laughs> Just think about White Castle. Um, a study that is done at little to no cost in a fast manner probably won't be good. So these are my three things that I would like you to think about as you're doing your research on the island, but not just on the island, but as you leave and journey off to the real world. So when you have to work with people and times get bumpy, instead of throwing your hands in the air and saying, I give up, give them a little fist bump. <laughs> Learn to be inquisitive, ask questions. I have a three-year-old and he's constantly asking questions like, mommy, what is this? And now his questions are, mommy, why is this? And so as kids, we have this curious mind, and I feel like as we age, sometimes we lose that curiosity. And lastly, um, try to balance out the good, the cheap, and the fast. Try not to aim for that cheap and fast approach, but rather balance out all three things, how much something takes, how much something costs, and always strive for good research. Well, good luck as you're going out and doing research on the island. If you have any questions, you know where to find me, and I can answer all of them. Now, remember, the island is more than just virtual people. 
it comes with real problems too. Thank you.